Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Brookfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, November 29th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. And if I could just get everyone to uh, turn off their phones and uh, make sure that we're signed in on the sign-in sheet for the, uh, for the uh, minutes, I'd appreciate that. Um, there are no warrants. There are, there are warrants, they're yeah. signed. They're not in here, but I will entertain. Wow, it's not listed here, is it? Just says approve the warrant. So I'm going to entertain a motion to approve the payroll warrant, or the last payroll warrant, and the um, current expense yeah, warrant. Yeah, because I, I signed those today. Yeah. Second. Right. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Second. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the monthly reports of the emergency squad for October 16, fire department October 16, and the cultural council October 16. I'll make that motion. Second. <clears throat> Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm playing uh, secretary. Oh, yes, secretary. Oh, okay. All right, I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, ma'am. Um, <laughs> There are no announcements on here, but I believe the tree lighting ceremony is this Sunday. Is it this Sunday? I thought it was Sunday the 5th. Tree lighting? We got Facebook. See how well my memory is? Well, we're away, so I... I hope you're not waiting for me to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have plenty of time. We, we have a public hearing at 6 30, so oh, okay. we're going to have to recess regardless. Okay. Unless this gets long and drawn out. Uh, but I did see a couple individuals up there getting everything ready a couple days ago. Yep. Oh, on. The common? Yeah. Yep. I've got the book. That's Brookfield Facebook. There we are. Brookfield, Connecticut. That's not helping you. I'm going to go to events. Annual tree lighting. He was correct. It's Sunday. It's December 4th. I thought it was the 5th, but it's Sunday, December 4th at 445, right on the Brookfield Common. Go right to, uh, right to Brookfield's website. And it's my Yours is fast. I, mean, I just kind of know how to navigate. One of these so old guys, so. I went to events. So, um, any other announcements? Hearing none. Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Love to have you up, Mr. Olson. Welcome. If you could just state your name. For yeah, my name's Dave Olson, Rice Corner Road. I've been in Brookfield for about 50 years. And I've seen a lot come and go, uh, lumber yards, and three restaurants and everything, and you wonder why things don't happen in town. I think it's because of our tax rate. And you're, you're talking about saving the town hall here, and if you really look at it, the windows move. That one, I know, a quarter of an inch back and forth. So the windows are no good. The plumbing is obsolete. The heating is obsolete and the wiring is unbelievable. I can't see why you want to put money into something that's can't be insulated. You can't touch it because of uh, what is it in? Uh, mass historical? Mass historical. So you can't do anything with the building. Uh, it was mentioned about property. We have plenty of property in town we can use. We own the uh, elementary school, we can put offices in there 
if you want to tear this down and put up something decent, something that's going to be used for the next hundred years, I mean, this isn't. It's, it's a constant fix, fix, fix. And at the special town meeting, you, you said nobody puts input on the town. Well, I want to put my input in on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nightmare. It, it was a good building back in 1906, but it's seen as day, you know. It's like a human being or a tree. They, they only last so long. And uh, as far as business goes, I think we've chased a lot of it out with our tax rate. I really do. I mean, one time we had the three restaurants here, a coffee shop, a pizza house. Uh, there was even a laundry. Uh, Rice and Gadir Lumber was here. And the fire chief said nothing important happened in this town. The only thing in the past 50 years was uh, Governor Dukakis came here because we started mad. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And I think that's the most important thing that's ever happened in the town in the last 50 years that I know of. So it's really not a historical building. It's just a building that's obsolete. And I just wanted to let you know my thoughts. You know? Thank you. It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You're talking a lot of money. And like I say, you put it in the elevator, next it's the heating, then it's the windows, and you think upstairs there is only an eighth of an inch between the weather and the inside of the building, and that's not much. It's not much at all. So you're never going to be able to insulate it, and I just think it's a waste. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. you. Anybody else wants to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. Uh, you were going to get back to me on the what we had for inventory from the old animal control officer. Did you ever find out? I know Karen's not here. I don't know if she reached out to her. I don't know if she has. I think I saw the email saying everything was turned over. Wasn't there an email that was generated? I don't, re I don't recall. I, I'm 99% sure that she did reach out, and I think I saw this was <clears throat> about a month ago that um, the old officer claims that everything was turned back over. Over to? The uh, new animal control and was officer. it all being housed? We didn't, I, that wasn't an email. It was just we a We have graphic. a list of what it was. We just want to know when we do the budget if, they, if they're going to need any more money than what we always allocate for them. So my my Would you like me to call Sarah? No, what I'd okay. like you to do, Dave, is the advisory committees, if you're looking for that budget, reach out to the new animal control officer and see where she's gonna be. Okay. Instead of going back and forth through offices. All right, I'll do that. Right. What about where we animals, where we keeping our animals if 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 a dog gets loose, are they gonna get shipped out of town or are we gonna keep them in town here so people can retrieve them in town? I think it said it was out of town as well, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it's being kept out of Boy, town. I miss that. Um, I think she was going to check with some of the other communities that have kennels if we can keep they, them. Up they, they were looking, but I think right now it's out of town. Yeah. But there was a desire to team up with North Brookfield. Leslie hasn't gotten back to us on that. So we, so nobody knows nobody knows them. So if we, someone loses their dog, no one's going to know where to, where to retrieve it. They call the animal control officer who does return calls pretty promptly. Mm -hmm. And right now you're saying it's somewhere out of town, but we I don't know where. I believe in that email, I think she said mm -hmm. it's out. Who's, so where can I get a good answer on that? I have her number at home if you okay. to call I have her number on speed dial. Right. Oh, good. This is something I have that works. Can you write that down I and pass that to down. Mr. Holcroft? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing now. Would, um, when we need to go to, to the town accountant, I want to know if I can go in and directly speak to her instead of going through and back and forth and then things get all... So I know you told me last night that there was a memo. Lin I, yeah. We didn't talk about it. I assume you're going to call me back. Linda just handed me this. I haven't read it, so I'm not ready to have that discussion yet. Well, Carrie, I had talked to Carrie briefly today. Now, did you get a copy? Yeah, we got a copy last night. And she night. said what she was <clears throat> going to start doing is putting a copy in... With every, for everybody on the advisory board with their name on it so right. they all know what's going on. Okay. I, if we're speaking, that's, I, that's I, I'll, def <clears throat> I'll definitely read this, but my, um, my desire is for the chair of the advisory committee to be able to speak to our town accountant. The back and forth, I think, is done with. 
I don't know what you feel. Well, the only thing is that she had talked to me about, she said a lot of it is just repetitious, the repetition things. It's the same thing, you know, over and over again. Only on one subject, Linda. Well, and that's because I had a couple members of the board that wanted me to double check, so I did, and then I'm the one that looks bad. But I don't care if I look bad. They asked me to ask, find out again if that figure was correct, and I went back and I asked a question again. Well, which, which takes all of a minute to look well, up. Whatever. I mean, that's, that's, that's I, what I we have, do, and if we have to double check or triple check, that's what we're going to uh, do. We're she, not trying to criticize anyone. We're just trying to make sure that that figure is correct. Because, you know, she's learning in there, Dave, and she's got a lot to do, and she's been doing a very good job so far. But that has nothing to do with what we're discussing, Linda. She just gave. She just right. gave you. We the don't. Ha we don't have a problem with her. I'm just trying to get. So my we asked a question, just, and someone told me to ask packet, the question again. In this packet, she just gave you all the right. answers that you wanted, and she's going to leave from now on. That's that's fine. Right. Everybody is going to have a packet for the advisory board, so everyone knows what's going on. Well, so they know what's so going the point on, of this discussion me. is: can we stop using you? As a liaison for the advisory committee, I know we didn't want to overwhelm Joan and you're making faces, Linda. I don't want to overwhelm <clears throat> Karen right off either. I mean, well, she's she's been there for three months. I'm not overwhelmed. I, I go in there and just ask a couple questions before before this new process you put into place. Clarence, how do you want to voice an opinion? I really don't have an opinion because I haven't had an, uh, an opportunity to read the memo. This is just, this is, the, I thought it was criticism, but it's literally just answering his three questions. Well, yeah, I mean, the memo is not going to, it doesn't really touch on what I'm talking about, going well, directly if we're, if to we're, her. If we're, if we're asking the same question over and over again, I'm, that's discourteous. On, no, it's not. It's just, it just was on one subject, and we wanted to make sure that that, okay, big, so that now, was it. And, so now you and I, had, I was asked by a couple of members to ask again, and that's what I did. And so the idea of putting the additional documentation in place to have written tracks is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's what so, okay, but getting back to my question again is, I want to know if I can go in and talk directly to the town accountant instead of going to Linda. And then she talks to her and she, things get twisted a little bit, not exactly the way no, I asked it. things don't get twisted. Not twisted, but they, you know, based on that memo, it seems like... To, to, you know, it seems like she got a little perturbed about something, the way maybe you put it to her, maybe that's well, not the right, way I right here, please do not let the question, let the question just be asked over and over with the same answer given that you just don't understand, or perhaps I do not understand your true question. So right there, to me, speaks to the fact that there might be something lost in translation. That's so, my point. So ha having the individual okay. speak, I, I think... And then she can explain it to me directly when I'm right and, there. And her, and her last line is great. I'm here to work for the people of this town, as we all are. Yep. Right, which is excellent. So let's give it a try. All right, we'll give it a try, Dave, and see what happens. Yeah. Well, I mean, I used to go in and talk to Betty on a regular basis, and there was no problems. I went well, to, to, to be honest with you, we kind of moved towards this policy because the, the uh, complaints that Betty had. Yeah. But I'll entertain a motion to allow the uh, advisory committee chair access. But the complaints were not directed from me, if you remember correctly, what individual it was. Yeah, I, I, well, I, let's put it I, out there. I put it out there. I'm not that individual. You know what, Dave? You, you, I'm not that individual. You, you, you criticized me last week okay. of being politically correct, and yes. that, that, that hurt, but I took a step back. And I said, you know what? I said it in a meeting anyways. I have to be politically correct. I don't. To I don't have to be politically I, I, I appreciate correct. That. And I'm not going to be politically correct. But in, in my That's real a life, bunch of garbage, in Steve. my real life that you know me as, okay. I'm probably the least politically All correct right. person in this town. But there, there is respect that has to be presented and well, I don't think I don't think being politically table, so. correct has got anything to do with respect, Steve. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair of the advisory committee to um, have access to our. Accountant. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Yes, uh, if it Please. doesn't. Oh, of course. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you know, yeah, it's, it's then too you can much, get back to me. Right. We will get back to right. you, and it'll get back with the liaison again. Because we're going into a season yeah. where we have to put numbers together. Speaking of tax rates and making and the, sure we're all yeah. we, we all got to work together. Yeah. Right. To do this. And the beautiful we're just thing, trying to get what's this, and the beautiful sure thing of, of, right. of the new accountant is that the desire is that she's going to be working on the um, spreadsheet as well with the advisory yeah. back and forth as opposed to four different spreadsheets and Perfect. okay i also invited her to come to one of our meetings so she could introduce herself to us and we mm -hmm. can introduce ourselves to her and also find out 
what she expects from us and we want to know what we can expect okay. from her so when we do this it be the smoothest possible okay. good stuff so anything else not at this moment okay thank, thank you, you sir anybody thank you for that number point anybody else wish to address the board this evening one more comment you come on up mike can pick you up upstairs you've got the uh, board up there with the the veterans that served our country and it's just sticking up there you're preaching like to the to choir my here. friend i i tried to push that we set up a committee that was looking into that you can ask we we talked about bringing it downstairs here and what is it we just don't want to do it well the committee kind of dismantled and we kind of dismantled after you know we did the memorial for joe murray but um one of the so that 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 disheartens me because the the, the the committee wasn't put together for the strict purpose of a bridge i understand I, that steve I'm, I'm still taking heat for one comment that i made at a meeting mm -hmm. and if it becomes full-blown if i decide to run for re-election in may um the, the the truth is going to come out on on what happened to myself for making an, a comment that i wanted the entire town to be served through a dedication not just one individual mm -hmm. You know, you serve this country, people in this room serve the country, people in this town, people in this commonwealth have served this country. So I, I wanted it to be a little bit more broad and I got really slammed for it and, and physically a lot of things happened and I'm, I'm bile, I'm about to throw up. But I'm with glad the, that uh, how it turned out, it turned out very well. Oh, it was a beautiful ceremony. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the guy was a great guy. Nobody would argue that in this right. room and it definitely deserved. But that committee was meant to honor this town. I'm, I'm a huge advocate for veterans. I don't know if you know my background. I try to say it as much as I can, but this isn't the place. Um, Can't it, be politically correct, right? Well, I can be, well, it's, it's political. My grandfather died for this country. I, I understand that, so did my, my, my dad. My father served this country. Yeah. You know, my other grandfather served in World War II as well. I have great respect for veterans. Uh, we have a member that served the country as well. Your husband served mm -hmm. this country. Um, I, I made the comment two years ago to try to bring that down, and it fell on deaf ears. If we have to do it, I don't think you were on, on the committee then. Um, if we have to do it ourselves as a board, I actually spoke with Miss Wilson. Uh, her husband made that upstairs, and I don't think he had a problem. Um, but it was built well, and it was built to stay there, so that would be the only issue. Um, and it has to be updated too, because there's still a lot of people that aren't on it. Yep. Um, but, but there's back, room. There's room. Plenty there, of room there here is, for that. One hundred percent. Um So back, back to the. So you guys aren't going to do anything on the committee. I don't even think we have to be. Um, anybody has to be. So I'm going to entertain a motion to disband the memorial committee. I'll make the motion. Second. You mind if I look into it? Look into I work. do cabinet work. Moving it down here where it belongs so people can... I, I would love for you to do that. And if you want to get Tantasco involved, I'm sure they can get kids out here to help as well. I've got shapers, routers, you name it, I have it. I, I don't think it's anything just making. I think it's just transferring. That just and I've, I've got some ideas I'll bring to the board. Later on, I'll do some drawings. But I think it should be down here where well, it I, can be seen. I agree with you. I do too. Thank you, sir. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? Then I've worked myself up into a tizzy. Uh, item number two, we have to wait for the 6.30 posting of the tax classification hearing. Uh, Mr. Snyder, the floor is yours, sir. Great. You have in your package uh, two copies of a contract with, for Mass Historical for the campground activity. And the process is that we, with signing of that document that goes uh, back to Mass Historical, they then send us, once they've signed it, back to us. So that's the next step in the progression. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is we w did go out for bid, and the bids are due uh, next Monday at 10 a.m. Um, and with that, we would be looking to Tuesday, actually, Tuesday evening. Cindy's going to cover for Karen as the contracting officer okay. to open the packages. She'll collect the packages from the office um, so that we will have the opportunity to meet. Um, and with that, uh, we don't get to, ch we get to rack and stack who the preferred mm -hmm. choice is and the like. 
but that, that choice still goes to Boston for them to verify or validate that, that that would be the correct decision. And what that then does is puts us in a role where phase one would begin, where they're start to, starting to do the exploratory stuff. And, then, oh, and speaking of Carol, come on down. Your timing is exquisite. It's great. <laughs> So uh, again, what we'll I, I was just updating the pa uh, the uh, sign of the contract uh, is in the package for uh, Steve's signature. With that, uh, we then uh, send that package back to Boston. They go ahead and they sign it. We get one back. In the package, we have a copy for us for the for the moment, just an unsigned copy. Um, and then uh, with that, on Monday, uh, Cindy will pick up the uh, bid packages. On Tuesday, we'll meet and uh, go through the bid packages and make a recommendation uh, for who uh, the archaeologist would want to be or the organization that the archaeologist works for. Six, you said. That's a six, yes. Um, and so that, that's the, the process as far as this evening. Um, separate and aside, and especially with Mr. Chapey down there with his uh, sad face on for a moment, he, should, he deserves, along with the rest of the pirate crew, a, a, a vote of thanks for spending some time down at, at the campground getting ready for the last bit of disposal. Definitely. 100%. So, progress. It was. It is. It will be. I will entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign said contract for 17-5. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 There are t two packages, Steve, and several places where you either have to sign, sign and date, that sort of thing. So I will be FedExing them or overnighting them back to Boston so that we'll continue that process. The meeting is going to be here at 6 or just We'll go next door. Oh, okay. Because it, yeah, probably won't get up here. But I'll send an email out tomorrow. So we are making progress. Thank you. I did take a vote, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. I don't need to sign anything. No, do you want oh, to read the card? No, I thought you signed. I had to sign something. No, no. No, no, no. We had to watch him sign. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Any other discussion? It was actually item number three, not two. Right. Any further discussion? No. Nope. All right, let's come back. Come time. back to two. Good. Exquisite. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I have not had a chance to read what you gave me. Don't kill me. I apologize. Uh, holidays and whatnot, it's been a busy week. Um, is there anything you want to well, we like hit me with? Well, we would like to proceed with this because, yeah. like I explained to you, when town council came out in August, she feels that we should go through, you know, all of the, um, the job, rec you know, all of our um, job descriptions and the grade and wage uh, pay scale and all of the policies and procedures. And she recommended, you know, some different companies for us to go in, and Cindy had checked, and uh, one wanted $14,000 to do well, this To be work. honest with you, we've been working on that for six years, and it was with the help of KP. They had models and templates that we yeah, adjusted. Yeah, well, we did. We have done them, but she thinks that we should just go further with it. So we started looking at Mary Lou had gotten a lot of information here, on the compact and there was a section on the human resources practice and it said how they would come out and develop a formal wage and classification plan they would develop employee policies and procedures and and manage employee benefit costs so you know they would give us ideas on all of this and we thought it was, was a good idea and we were willing to make out the um the application for it yeah. and i had also given you on the packet that you know, other towns and uh, around us, West Brookfield signed on, North Brookfield has, Ware and Warren. So a lot of them have gotten together on this. And we I promised to look at it this weekend. So I feel it's a good thing that we get involved. We had, with we it. had the discussion a couple months ago. You were against it. it then was I kind changed. Yep. Yeah, so it did mean yeah. something to me. So. Well, and, and, the, doing the human resource yeah. thing is a good idea. The human resource I mean, side thing is a good idea. If it help us, because you know we do, we want to update. There's, there's no doubt in my mind the good 
in it, but I'm just looking for the bad that, yeah, because yeah. there are always two sides yeah. to a story. And Absolutely. Yeah. So let me no. read that. and It's worth reading. That's just my due diligence. Yeah. But I apologize for not having it ready. So tonight. do we want this on the next agenda yeah, then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Any, any other discussion? Okay. Item number four, special use permit. We'll entertain a motion. And again, these aren't signatures. Well, if you, you want to sign them anyways, right? So you, should know. Um, you should really have a discussion with Karen to uh, include a signature line on these if it's something that we can generate. But entertain a motion to allow the uh, bass anglers on 422.17, the use of Quaybog Pond, uh, arrival time 6 a.m., return time 1500 hours. It's 3 o'clock, 7 a.m. to 3. Uh, 25 votes. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion for 729.17, the use of Quaybog Pond, American Bass Anglers, uh, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion for the American Bass Anglers, 8.517, Quaybog Pond, 5 a.m. to 1,500 hours, 16 vehicles. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. None all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, to start in four minutes. So uh, we do have catch, catch basin truck for discussion. Mr. Holcraft had requested that we put this on. Um, I think it's going to be something as simple as Mr. Chafee coming on up. From what we know and have um, confirmed, there has been no expenditures on that. So I don't know if you want to just answer questions from Mr. Holcraft or his committee or? Not really. But you will. No, I'll answer it for the board of selectmen. All right, so Dave, what questions do you have? Because it's the board of selectmen that's just running the town, right? Yeah. All right, who do you want to start? Well, you had the questions. We were facilitating the discussion. Okay, what my question is, the board's questions are, we had a catch basin truck put on the uh, warrant in, in June, Article 27, and it was for $10,000 to take a, a 1980 Mac, retrofit it into a catch basin truck. Um, so we got 10,000 there, but now back in October of last year, uh, or December, whichever way, there's different signatures at different times. You allocated 30000 from Chapter 90 for this truck. And then you bought the, uh, the, I believe the Derrick and the Clam hydraulic system was bought, or received somewhere. Um, I want to know with what, where that was bought, or you know, if we have it, I heard it was down in the Tyway Barn, uh, where that came from and what the expense of that was. Um, um, so between just two figures, we're at 40000 already. I don't know if it's been spent yet, but it's been allocated. And then we get the Derrick system. I don't know how much that was. Now, I, I don't know if that came out of Chapter 90 or where it came from. So I guess that's our first question to you, Herb, is do you have the Derrick hydraulic system to go on this truck at the highway barn? Yes. Okay, where did that come from? That's the water's luck with. Okay. Mr. Chair, what did the hydraulic and clam... Uh, how, how was it paid for, Herb? Took it out of the capital improvement. <clears throat> capital improvement? Mm-hmm. How, how, what was the figure on that? You should have it. We do not have it. That's why I'm asking you now. You have a rough dollars How much was it, Herb? 8500 8, 8, Is it brand new? Is it used? It's a uh, new used. How's that? So it's used. So it's well, used. it's never been used, but it's new. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's Dennis New then. Okay. All right. Next question, Dave. All right. So basically, now we're up to almost fifty thousand for this truck, and you went before the townspeople asking them to take a nineteen eighty Mack truck. You came to the advisory board as well. And we also told you that that 80, 1980 truck was junk and you shouldn't even mess with it. And we also told you the wheelbase was not the right wheelbase for it. And you said it was fine and that you can get You it did done. not say anything like that, Dave. So Robert Barnes, don't, don't Robert put it Barnes, to your teeth there, but Dave. Okay, I'm going to repeat it. Robert Barnes told you the wheelbase on that truck was not proper for a catch basin truck. And we There's also place told for this you the chair. Let's just move forward. I know. What's no place for what? What's the question there? My question is, I was saying the 1980 truck, he came in and told the advisory board that the 1980 truck was going to be retrofitted into a catch basin truck. He needed 10000 We said we'll try if it's feasible. Mm -hmm. Get your facts squared away, please. Article 27. To rehab the 1980 Mack truck to a catch basin or purchase a used truck to be retrofitted, not for a body now, that was said at the last selectman's meeting. Retrofitted as a catch basin truck. That doesn't say we're gonna try, it says retrofitted as a catch basin truck. For $10,000, you went before the town, you came before the advisory board, we all gave you the grace of the 10,000, and now it's gonna be costing the town almost 50,000, minimal. So did you spend that 10,000, Herb? Nothing's been spent except for the crane. And we received through Chapter 90. We haven't received anything through Chapter 90 money because we're not using that money for that. We signed off for it, though. That's You signed off to be... Uh, the project request was signed. You guys signed the paperwork to have it put back into the account a few for, months ago. For a specific use of that vehicle? No, it's not being used for that vehicle <clears throat> anymore. So why was it presented to the board? This was over a, a year yeah, ago. Back in December. Well, well over a year ago. We well, had a chance be, to... It'll be a year this month, coming month. What's that? It'll be a year this coming month, I believe. I think it was longer than that. I think the date on it was December. What? 12 21 15 is when you signed off. So... And the selectmen just signed this, this two weeks ago. Uh, the, probably about a month ago. Okay, a month yeah. ago. The... Uh, we had a chance, we were told about a, a good used truck that was coming up. The guy was, the, the vendor was going to sit on it, but the, and he told us about it, and it was going to be around $30,000 for the truck. We, we could allocate some Chapter 90 money for that, which we did, and by the time we got that all done, the guy sold it out from under the town of Brookfield. That's why we didn't use that money. So what are we doing with that 50000 there is not 50000 So we never accepted it? The 30000 has been reimbursed to the town of Brookfield. That paperwork has been done already. But the 50000 that we There accept? is not 50000 There's only 10000 10000 is coming out of the food account. Correct, that we allocated. 30000 well, you guys just signed. Um, uh, oh, I thought it was fifty. dollars no. 30 All right. The fifty is my figure from... If, if, if we use the 10000 from the food account... And so the where did that... So that thirty went back? Into the thirty, 90. the thirty is going back into chapter ninety. Yeah. Correct. Okay. When, when, when was that decided? Because they just signed off. You guys just signed off for a project request, right? About a month ago. Yeah. No. Right. Project reimbursement. Right. This is the project request here, right? What is this? This is on twelve twenty one oh fifteen. There's a yeah. That's yeah. Okay. That was a request. That was right. a request. Well, that's the project. Okay. And, and we also done a reimbursement on her already. So the thirty thousand is being put back into chapter ninety. All right. And that money came out of uh, which year? Not this year. The last year, right? The year before. The, whatever account that the state takes it out of. How's that? Okay. So that means all right. So we which got is one chapter ninety? Okay. So what did you guys sign a month ago? that but they're not going to use it which okay. we just learned now so it goes back in for for okay. any other request which i'm going to assume is a bridge request what's that which i will assume would be a bridge request haven't done anything about that yet yeah. well you're saying steve is we got 168 now we're going to have another 30 on top of that and the new if you took 30 out of the number that you're claiming 168 well this this is not coming out of that 168 
but I don't know where you got the 168 from. If it's before, is what we just got in. <coughs> but if it's before that number or the last number, right? So, but you can have thirty thousand. This, this, this. When you signed, should have come out. Of, you said this came out of the old 168 with the um, Lower River Street Bridge and the Weber Weber uh, Road work. That all there came were out. There three of requests. Yeah. Right. So we still should have a fresh batch of 168, according to my figures, plus thirty. All right. Any other questions? Okay, so my question here is if when someone comes to the advisory board, a department head or anyone, and they tell us you're going to do something and you go before the whole entire town and you say it's going to cost something, and prior to this, you already did a deal to take money out of Chapter 90 before you even came to the advisory board two months later, three months later, you say, oh, it's going to cost us 10 grand, and in essence, you already know you're going to spend 30 plus that 10. So that's where I'm confused, sir. If we had a truck, what's we, confusing? No, for, with her. I'll explain it more. No, I, I. Do you understand what they're saying? If you had a truck on on call, yeah, for thirty, and which fell through. through. So did it fall through after the town meeting? No. Yes, it fell through before town meeting. All right. How's that? That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yes, it fell through before town meeting. So he's not just saying things, Dave. He's thinking, and you understand the, the, what happened. Yeah. So why did you sign that paperwork a month ago? <laughs> along He's, with the two road, along with the two road construction. I, I can't answer that because you your office Herb, did give us that request. That's correct. It's reimbursement yeah. to the town of Brookfield. Mm -hmm. Right. That's it's right. money coming back into the town of Brookfield. Mm -hmm. right. It's not money going out yeah, for money that specific. Back. It's coming in. Yep. That's that's correct. You take money out of the state department, out of out. It's our money, but the state holds it, so it doesn't get misused by communities. They have to approve it. That's correct. The state has to be done. When you're ready for that money to do something, then it comes back into the town so, to, pay, so why, to pay for the projects. Why did, we have, why did we have to sign off on that? Right. That's a good question. <laughs> Chapter 90 money. Let me try to explain this. So I'm, it's tiresome to ex keeps explaining the same thing. When the state approves X amount of money for the state, for the counties to be used. For the year. There's a set figure. There's a the set year. figure that we are told when we are ready to do a project, we have to do a project request. We do the project request. And that's, the that's, town a, that's, the, that's a form that this board signs. That's correct. Right? Saying that the town highway department is going to be doing this work here. It has to go to the state to be approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, Once not it's, just, approved, it's not just a project, it can be equipment as well. That's correct. Yeah. Once it's approved, it's, the paperwork comes back to the town stating that it's been approved, you can move forth with your project. The town has to put the money up in front to pay for the project. Once the project is completed and paid for, we have to do paperwork to reimburse from the state with copies of the checks and so on and so forth that we spent on that project in order to get the money reimbursed back to the town. That's how chapter 90 works. Which that is, that was a reimbursement. Right. There's a, yes, there's reimbursement coming back into the town from that. That's correct. So the question that Dave has is why did we request that reimbursement if we knew that we weren't going to purchase the truck? We, we did the request a we, year ago. This was over a year ago that we did the 30000 so the, the request and the it approval. It fell through. Correct. But we, you still presented this board with that approval about a month ago that we signed off on. A reimbursement. To receive the money. To receive the 30000 back because we we're not going to use that $30,000 toward the catch basin truck. We're going to rehab or try to find a good used truck. So the, the paperwork that you're saying for the reimbursement is what we signed? Correct. Yes. And it was presented to us as? Reimbursement. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right, so we got the reimbursement back on those three chapter 90 forms that we signed last time. And that's because we did the two road projects and, and for the catch basin truck. So why did you sign off for the catch basin truck if we never took 30000 out to begin with? Because you're re reimbursing the $30,000. Well, we never took it. We never, we never had any invoices for it. Can I? You can talk back and forth. Yeah. I want to, I want to the that. state has changed paperwork, okay? When you do a project request, in order to keep paperwork 
squared away, as they would call it. If you don't, even if we don't use the full amount of money on a project request, we still have to do a project reimbursement in order to get that excess money that's left over to put back into the town's coffer, per se. Per se, because they hold the money. That's so correct. So we need to sign, sounds like me, we need to sign some more different paperwork. To me, yeah. You're already doing it, Dave. It's done. We're it's done. It. It's over with. Ready. Stop confusing things. So, well, that's what we're, 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 exactly we're, what I'm saying. But we're here to clarify it between okay. everybody. So I'm glad Herb's here because it was just a back and forth between right. us. Right. And, and, and that's so, why I asked him to come here. Yeah. So the 30000 was not spent okay. back in the Chapter 90. So my guess the next question is where are you moving forward toward? Are you going to rehab the new truck, the old truck, or? No, the frame's junk on it. Looking for another one? It, the a neighbor in town, fire department, they're purchasing a new truck over there. And the cabin chassis, the right length that we need, I already talked to the fire chief about it. It's a good possibility that we're going to be able to get the truck for nothing if everything goes right. It's a win-win? It's a win-win, but I won't know until probably the first of the year or so. So yeah. we haven't spent $50,000 yeah. on anything? We haven't spent anything yet. Right. It's just allocated is what I'm saying. Right. But, we, but there's, there's a possibility that we could go back to Chapter 90 if that falls through. That's correct. Or, or we do another project request. Or even a town meeting warrant. Well, there's $10,000 sitting there for a cabin chassis or a rehab. Yeah. And that's how the articles right. are written. That's okay. So basically, you're going to need more than 10000 so that people know. You're going to need more than a $10,000 figure to do this big catch basin truck. No. So you already spent 8500 so you're going to get the whole thing all done for 1500 I don't think so. Time to get that all mounted. He, he he's not listening. No, oh, I'm listening quite well. Because we haven't spent anything out of $10,000. The 8500 Dave, came out of capital improvement account. That's you're no. missing my point. Point is, he came before the town and said he's going to do a catch basin truck for ten grand. Okay. Well, that's not going to take place. Chapter was, ninety money or wherever it came from. You came to before the town. You give them a figure. You come to the advisory board and you give us a figure. That's what we want to base our figures on. If it's coming out of chapter ninety and we need ten thousand from the townspeople, then you state that. But you don't do back and forth behind the scenes. Transparency is what you guys always say. This is Dude. not transparency. We're, it's we're, not we're, in front of, we're in front of a camera, Dave, with everybody involved. This, this is pretty transparent. It's transparent now because I'm bringing it forward, yes. Well, uh, but you came to the town for 10000 to do a catch basin truck, and you're taking money out of Chapter 90 as well, but that wasn't brought forward from the townspeople or the advisory board. He just made the statement that it fell through before the town meeting. I understand that. So there was no need to bring it to the townspeople. Okay, what about the 8500 that wasn't brought to our figure either. That was brought to the advisory board. He didn't need to bring it to you because it was spent. It was allocated. Yeah, but the thing is, it says in the article, $10,000. For the existing truck that we had. A catch basin truck up in retrofitted for ten grand. Which is an estimate, yeah. Which is, which is, it doesn't matter if it's an estimate. That's what you came for. If it's going to cost more, then just tell the townspeople. And that's what we're going to do. And that's what we're telling well, you tonight. Well, you now. It's after the fact. We already had the town meeting, Steve. Don't try to change things around. I'm not trying to change. Yeah. I'm not. You know, everyone's putting a spin on it here. All I'm saying is, become what forward, what spin are we putting on it, Dave? I'm coming at this. I'm coming on this black and white. There was, there was a request a year ago for thirty thousand. The truck fell through before the town meeting, so there was a request for ten thousand for the existing truck that we have in our possession to retrofit it. Oh. He's saying the frame is rusted. The way the article read is to purchase something else. That's now we have the potential of getting a new fire truck. This is progressing. My point is, <coughs> came to the town into a catch basin truck for ten grand. If you needed more, then you should have come to the town and said it's going to cost us money. But I need you to understand, which I learned tonight, is that the thirty thousand that was requested a year ago was for a truck that fell through, so it wasn't that. needed anymore. Yeah, that, that's all we clarified. But that that's a huge that's a, that's a huge piece to me in this discussion. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Clarify that. Right. But but the article is what I'm going by, is what I'm trying to say. So the article was a result of losing that truck. That has nothing to do with losing the truck. It, it has, has everything to do with losing that truck. Okay, you can say that, but I'm saying you come before the townspeople with them, they don't want to hear, they don't know about them losing the truck. They, you come before them for a figure mm -hmm. and you say we're gonna get a catch basin truck up and running for ten grand 
then that's it. You stick to it. If it, you need it was, more, then you come back. It was more. the desire, and obviously, if we need to, we have to. You, you know, it's pretty bad. It's, you know, he's complaining about one thing. That he's throwing money well, around in all the places. I don't think he's complaining. No, I'm not throwing money around. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, if you come before the town, it, just say I, this is going to cost ten. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to do the best interest of the town of Brookfield with what money we have and other resources that's out there in the state. More work that I keep doing, the more other stuff that I get on the back side. I'm probably better off to just say, I need $250,000 for a catch basin truck. Which Other than that, we're not going to clean catch basins. The town wouldn't go you know, for it, and we and haven't been cleaning the catch basins for years. Correct. We wouldn't do that here. We wouldn't even do either one of those. We hired just a contract. Could you, I'm talking to the chairperson. You okay. just, I'm trying to do as best as I can for the town with what we can. I keep my ears open, I look at stuff, I try to find, if this truck comes through from another town, we're only gonna spend some money out of this to put the truck together, very little. You know, we just did another truck down there to replace the 1980. We got less than $50,000 in the truck that's gonna last another 10, 15 years, if it's maintained properly. Bunch of people in town like the work that we do. We got a handful in this town that does not, and all they want to do is create issues. I'm trying to do as best I can with a budget we're, that we're, I we're have. We're here to answer questions. Right. We're not here to criticize. Well, I'm here to put a point out that yeah. we have a problem in this town. Yes, we do. And that's, and my board. Chair. May I speak now, Mr. Yeah. Chair? Our board is doing diligence too for the town's people, financially. We'll to oversee what goes on and the money that's being spent and the taxes in this town are going out of sight. And it's our job to analyze <coughs> and see where our money's going. I don't, it, we're Not about behind the, the scenes. So we're, we're, we're following, I don't think we do things behind the scenes. We're falling behind on a tax classification hearing. I think it's going to prove that our taxes aren't out of sight. Um, it, it is what it is, and we can have that, and I'm going to have that discussion in the tax classification mm -hmm. hearing about Mr. Olson's comments. Can, yes, sir. can I just say one more thing before I get up off of this chair here? Can the Board of Selectmen have the advisory board look into the school system and find out how much money they got sitting in their stuff, their cherry sheets and so on and so forth, that we just spent $2 million on a couple of football fields. That was free money that was hanging around that nobody well, knew about. It's not free money. It's, well, it's, not it's school money. choice. It's, it's not school choice. Money. It's school choice. Yeah. But we should know what the balances are in the it's, school system, and we don't seem to know what that it's is. It's very transparent. My, if right. you have a desire for that, I wouldn't go through the advisory committee. Deb Boyd does yeah. a stellar job up there. Yeah. Pick, pick up the well, phone and call no, them. No, selectmen, I'm not selectmen. The advisory board's looking for you know budget ends and everything else and looking where all the town money's going to, but they're not looking into the schools. That's not true either. It, it, no. but, but unfortunately, Herb, the school's its own animal. We, I served. That's my proudest moment. Is, is, is on. It's it's the biggest budget in this town. Yeah. And uh, don't even get me going on the schools, but in the in whatever money we allocate for the schools, you know, whatever it may be, but we don't see none of that money that they don't spend at the end of the fiscal year. It stays in their pot all the time. We we do so it. We, we do it all it in front back. of a town meeting, so it is all transparent. Dave, before we wrap yeah. this up, do you have any other questions for her? No. Did, did, are you getting my point that I'm trying to make you? I, I, I get the point, but I'm glad we clarified the thirty thousand dollar issue. Okay. Clarence. Thirty thousand yes, before I explode. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't bad. Just trying to get <laughs> try to get this done before Herb walks away. The question was, did Herb spend fifty thousand dollars on a, a truck? No. And the answer was no. And, and I'm sorry. That this has gone this conversation has gone on far too long. And and I'm sorry. But I, I disagree because every single meeting we have, Mr. Holcraft asks us questions, and now they're all answered. So I Why hope they won't be answered. No. Well, <laughs> Absolutely you, not. You have told them to contact the highway department yeah. to find out how and so on. Please tell me you don't sit up and watch these meetings at night. No, I do not. All right. He's ne never come down here, never tried to set up a time to talk to us. We've so as far as I'm concerned, this should have never happened here. Well, I appreciate it did, and I think it no. clarifies well, things. Well, I appreciate it. Well, we, you know, chapter 90 money, it's not that hard. It's two pieces of paper. 
before and afterwards. That's all there is to it. And we have to show paperwork on it and we have to show checks. Yep. So we, can't nice just, we just can't spend the money and just, you know, Thank on you, any Dave. foolish thing. Yes, Dave. My point I was making, with Clarence and Dylan, he didn't get it, so I'm going to explain it to you one more time. You come before the townspeople for X number of dollars for a project or an article, that dollar amount is there for a reason. If you can do chapter 90 on top of it, then that should be included in there somewhere. We're going to do X number You're of dollars. You're not asking permission, Clarence. Go for it. He's trusting you. All right, that's what I thought. I got it. I, Are I you heard sure you have. It? Oh, I absolutely. Okay. What I heard was that you had a question about the. I will use the word misappropriation of town funds to build a truck. Clarification of town funds. Well, when you come okay. before the town for an X number of dollars and behind the scenes you're doing other stuff, the people have the right to know that well, other I, money is being spent on an article. I would and you can't argue that point, and that's my point. I'm up here. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, don't be we sorry. Have, I'm we not have, sorry we, about anything. I just tell it the way it is, Clarence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing well. I'm going to regret this, but what we got. Uh, no, I, I just wanted to come back up. I just He's, he's accusing. No, I think Clarence Which, made the accusation. I think so. Clarence made that accusation. <coughs> well, yeah. then, then at least we can get that clarified. Okay. okay. Because what, just... what, what, what the question was, there was a question about a truck. For months. Yeah. For months. Yeah. And, and it went way off into space here. And, and I looked to the highway superintendent to do his job with the funds that are appropriated. He provided an article. He worked to the article. Something changed. That's his job. Something changed. He took care of it because it changed. But it changed before the article. Absolutely. So it, it's it's even a even a more more of a mute issue. Yeah. But the thing is, we've already spent eighty five hundred. But that yeah. didn't come out. But that didn't come out of that money. That's my point, Linda. <coughs> That's my point. You come to the town to spend ten thousand, and you're going to so spend more. Where do you think? He That's was, my point. Where do you think he was going to get the Derek from? We, that's, we that never is, had, that's not the question. The he, question is, you come, you come to the town, when he you, did, advise, I, you come to a figure, I sat, you come to a figure, you stick to it. But I sat in that meeting, Dave, where he said that the Derrick was going to be got through other allocations, through other monies. Well, the money. And I sat in the meeting where Bobby Barnes that said, that said, the, not, truck, said the truck true. wasn't going to be no, manageable as well. No, All right. I think we should move on. I think we should move on. Right, I made my point. Move the I question. Think, I think it's not a question. Well, it's a discussion. It's a discussion. Well, sure. All right. Thank we're you, late, sir. We're late with our we're classification late. hearing. By All right. So I'm going to... Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm going to entertain a motion to enter to the um, tax classification hearing at 652. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 The floor is yours, sir. Welcome. Yeah. And Mr. Falter is here too. Does the board, do you all know uh, Bob Falter? Yes. yes, we do. Oh, yeah, they know me already. The freshman assessor. I don't know if the tax classification hearing is going to be quite as exciting as that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, Phil always made him exciting. There's basically not a lot here. I think you guys have probably all been through this before. Yep. Yep. There's four things to talk about primarily. There's the issue of. Um, Wrong notes. Um, single rate residential versus split for the commercial. There is not enough commercial in this in this town to even consider that. So, so transparency. That's a key word for today. Is residents in Brookfield argue that businesses that make money should be paying more. Mm -hmm. We have individuals that say that we're chasing businesses out. So for every year that I've been on the board, and I think the other two members agree, it's in the best interest of Brookfield to have a single tax rate. Right. I think that if you did, if you swung it all over to the commercial. The commercial would leave whatever's here, and you wouldn't, and, you, this, and you wouldn't even feel it. This goes back side. to to, and I had, ironically, I had a discussion with one of my employees today who lives in Barrie, and my son. I had the discussion with Sunday. He's like, you realize that East Brookfield and West Brookfield have more business than Brookfield, and this is from a 12-year-old, and it this there's a lot of factors involved. I think sewer is a huge factor mm -hmm. of welcoming businesses mm -hmm. in. I don't think it's a tax rate. Um, I. To be honest with you, I'd love to buy Brookfield Motors myself. I've always had a desire. It's a beautiful piece of property, great location, but I, don't, I wouldn't know what to do with it because of that sewer system. Right. So it's, I, I think that's a huge deterrent to this town 
And I don't know if it's something that we can look in with the state or whatnot, but. I, that, I think that's a whole different discussion. Yeah. Than but that's, but like I said, I wanted to address it when Mr. Olson came up and said why businesses are leaving and whatnot. Mm -hmm. you know, there, there were, I've been in town since 02 and there's businesses that have left. Yep. And it, it, to me, it's just because of lack of people frequenting those businesses. Well, with one business I know here in town, it was a family business and everybody lost interest. And I think the same thing happened with two, two of the businesses we've had. I think that... And, it's, and it doesn't have anything to do with the tax rate. No, I don't think it does either. I think if you have an energetic uh, business, I don't know what there is for... Uh, but there has to be a desire of people coming in and keeping your business open. Correct. If you can't sell cars, you can't keep a car dealership. Right. If you and can't sell food, you can't keep a restaurant. And if you don't have a lot of traffic through town, then Which you we, have to create a reason for more people to come. But that's the discussion I was having today. I, I think a chain restaurant would be great in this town. You know, an Olive Garden I could see a wing place, some place you can go and watch a football because game. Because there, there is a lot of traffic coming down Route 9. Yeah, there this is. 7,000 cars a day. Yeah. yeah, you just need a reason to make them stop. Yeah. But I think the sewer is, is, is... I think it's huge. But, it's huge. But, but, but East Brookfield doesn't have sewers, and West Brookfield doesn't either. Neither one of them towns have sewers. The only town the of Brookfield is Brookfield. Brookfield. So we're getting yeah. off topic, but yep. that was my two cents. Yep. Yep, no, it's a good point. We've had a success, though. We have the dollar stores. Which I brought up today as well. It's a beginning. Yeah, it is. It's a beginning. And luckily, it's in Brookfield, not on the town line. <laughs> in West and we do have a lot of businesses in town. Yeah. That there are a lot of businesses. There's a lot of smaller businesses. And, and I would ask people to frequent, the camera's not on me, so I don't have to look, to yeah. frequent those businesses because people going in yeah. and spending their money is what keeps them open. So I'm done. Okay. Floor yeah, great there. points. I mean, it's a, I hear it a lot sitting in there, you know, and it's find a way to grow it. I don't know how. It, what's the Chamber of Commerce do? What's the, you know, is there anything that reaches out that, that does that? If I can digress for just a second, I spent from three to five tonight at uh, the public house, and the local chamber is actually reaching out to do, uh, it's a CED is the acronym, and I don't ask me what it, what it's for, but it's the chamber reaching out to see what properties avail available and those kinds of things. And what's, and again, I went there because of the couple of properties that were we're working to see what might happen or could happen, um, and get them on the list. So uh, there is a chamber activity. That's good. It's really good, and that's what gets businesses yeah. going is that group that talks to people that want to own businesses. Right. Just the business plan is huge, and they assist in those. Yes. I think it's even bigger. I mean, you can talk about the whole country, and they got, you know, there is no manufacturing, and there is no, you know, and that's part of the Well, Brookfield's problem. lost its manufacturing. No, but I mean, nationwide, yeah. we have issues like but we, that. We're, we're, there's, there's, but there's diehard people that want to go back to that. Those days are gone. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have restaurants, we have things that but can we gotta do. Up. Yeah, we just got to have something. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I totally agree, but... So when you want to go in a chain restaurant, we'll buy Brookfield Motors together. Go talk. Okay. Alan Steves. No. <laughs> Steve and Alan. Just call it Al's. If they know I'm affiliated with it, it's just closed right away. That's, okay. why all, that's why all my businesses don't have my name on it. So, the, the, so that's the first thing. Okay. And basically it's not a yes or no. You either would vote a percentage one way or the other, or the single one, which I would recommend not, you know, don't even consider anything else. Um, if you did decide to go flip, swing things over to commercial uh, and tax them more and then down the line decide to bring it back, it even hits your people. Yeah. You know, the, the, uh, the townspeople get it even worse down the line. Um, small commercial exemption, there's nothing that fits the bill. Uh, they would have told us we don't get anything. So that, that's a no because there is no eligible, nothing eligible in town. Residential exemption, which is where you take a you exempt a certain amount of the percentage of the um, of the value of the residences. The only time you would do that is in a really high end, um, probably a coastal community, where maybe 50, 60 percent of the residents don't even live there. So then they end up get, the residents that live there end up getting a break on their taxes. It may be six communities in the whole state that do it. And then the other one is open space discount, and we don't are not involved in that. So. Basically, we're here to vote on, or this is your meeting. 
I'm just giving you the, you know, mm -hmm. the advice. Um, the classification hearing, and what we would recommend on that is go with a single rate, and then small commercial, residential, and open space would be no, no, no. And, and what's the tax rate with a single rate? We're not there quite yet. That's not part of this. Yep. If, if, just, if I had it, I would give it to you. I was just asking for we're the short, camera. Yeah. Um, there's pro I was probably a little aggressive. I think we were around the 15th or the 20th of December last year getting this done, and I would have preferred to have this next week, but you don't have a meeting. So I figured if we cut, bring it in a little closer. Um, I, I think I know what it's going to be, but I'm not comfortable putting that money I, I wouldn't right numbers now. We're, out. We're under the levy, though. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so we don't spend. Like, well, we again, don't spend like drunken sailors, like one resident claimed. I mean, I can show you. Speed. You know, there's a bunch of things that still need to be submitted from everything that's been put in, and I've been working with Kerry, and um, uh, and uh, yeah, Sandy today. She did her piece. Brenda's got a piece. Mike Siri did his piece today. So everybody is putting their pieces in. I'm pretty comfortable with where we are. Our our classific our, our values for the town have been certified by the Department of Revenue. So that is set and that's the single biggest part of this whole thing. So now it's just a matter of, you know, the is there a fifty thousand or thirty thousand or anything else around that hasn't been put in yet and I'm not comfortable giving out a tax rate mm -hmm. until I know that all the information is accurate. That's, that's fully understandable. Question and mm -hmm. again we'll really turn the back to housing values. Are we seeing uh, growth and uh, gentle, gent couple percent kind of thing. So and the values are going up too. Yeah. Yes. It's not a five number, but it's probably a two or two and a half or somewhere in there. Yeah. And we will. That's good. We, we recertified this year. Yeah, we did. We're, we're all yeah. So we're all set with that. Yeah, which took a little more time, but mm -hmm. we made the uh, DOI happy so far. So um, one thing that you got to keep in mind when in, in the in a, appraising, it's real time. It's day to day. Mm -hmm. Assessing is going with data that's anywhere from 12 to 24 months in the past, because we're using old home sales and things like that. So it tends to lag behind. So, and then it goes the other way when things go down. It tends to continue to go up until because we're using actual data, not estimated data. So what happened with our values this year? What Did the overall the yeah the. the, the the values go up or they go down? The values are up a little bit. The, the average single family house, you know, I, I broke it out, but again, I'm not comfortable throwing out numbers yeah. quite yet. Um, it is up, yep, yeah, it's up. But we, And we, there is a lot more new growth, I think, than we're seeing. And we what haven't. Linda's, I think, asking for is because we took a huge hit because property values went down and we had yeah. to compensate somehow mm -hmm. to pay the bills in town because just because property value goes down doesn't mean the bills go down. Mm -hmm. That money has to come from yeah. somewhere. So the values have gone up. Yep. Good. Yep. And new growth. Again, that helps yeah. out too because the new growth. So we growth, had more think, new growth this year. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I think you'll see even more. There's more new construction going on right now than I'd probably guessed in the last two, three years. Larger operate. No, not just, you know, the the, um, the, the screen porch or the homes. You know, homes. whole new, new homes. Yeah, whole things. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. So. Okay, so I will entertain a motion to accept a single tax rate with no exemptions. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? You did good. <laughs> you did do good. <laughs> Eric, not all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any questions from you two gentlemen? No, except that uh, you need to sign uh, online. I'm not sure. I think you, did you do it last year that way? I think Karen did it for us. It counts not here. Um, so. Probably Betty. I think Karen did it. Karen did it? Yeah, I think Betty now, in the it. absence of Karen, we just need to figure out how to do that then. And it's something you need to log into. I mean, yep. we can, I can work with can Karen to figure that out. Because well, we Karen does have access. Um, we've been talking back, you have getting many emails, right? About? The oil tanks. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just yeah. email me. And yep. if, if I need a link, if you have to send me the link, or if you want me to come into your office, I could do it's it. It's not a big deal to I check. Know, but it's whatever, whatever yeah. you have, if, if you want to boot it up on your computer, I can come in in the morning or at, on the way home or whatever. Oh, does she have to do it on hers? No, I think it's just it's, You can be anywhere. You, just, you have to log into the gateway, mm -hmm. um, the yeah. DOI gateway. For me, then, for me, it'll be easier if you can boot it up. I come in and take care of it, and we're done. Okay. But whatever you need from we'll me. I'll send you out a separate email. We'll figure out what, what's convenient for everybody. We can do it however. I think just the chair has to do it. That's how so you have my cell phone school. number, even if... I'll check. I think there was two names on it last year. Okay. I don't think I have it here. 
Just confirm. But you have my cell and Clarence yep. and Linda are mm -hmm. pretty available as yep. well. Okay, and then, um, yeah, last year the tax rate was set mid-December, and so it's, yep, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. All right. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. That's good. I will entertain a motion. That was it. How we come to blows. <laughs> a motion to adjourn the tax classification hearing at 7.05. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much for Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, we received a um, reimbursement through MEMA. I will entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign for $18,732.72. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? No. None all in favor? Now, what storm was that? Was that the one that we had? <laughs> the, the, the original one. Do we, do we, have, a, do we have a vote? Oh, yes. Aye, aye, aye. aye. That was that October storm? Last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, not the October. It was oh. The last okay. Um, well, we have you here for just a minute. I've been seeing an email on 159 Fisdale. Has any of that been solved? 159 Fisdale Road? Probably not. I see the park. Oh, okay. No. Nothing to do with me. How's that? Okay. Right. All right. That has nothing to do with me. All right. Pretty good at it. Thank you, sir. Yep. Thanks. I'm going to be in Spencer tomorrow, so you might want to check to see if it's all good because you won't be able to go to Wells. Um, I haven't checked the other. That's nothing. That's nothing. Do we, okay, so the floor is yours, ma'am. Okay, we had um, discussed last week about we have to do a three month review on carry. Yes. Yep. So, we got that email. So August 10th, this one, so we should probably set it up for the next meeting. Yeah, I asked, I asked um, to have that placed on the next agenda. Okay. All righty, and then another thing, I was approached today when I was up here by um, Mr. Barnes from the Water Commission, and they would like to meet with us jointly again to um, talk about um, the candidate for the water superintendent, and they would like to have him here also. And I guess they, he said that they would like to discuss some wages. And he was wondering if this should be held in an executive session. I don't think you can hold an executive session. Did you want to weigh in on it while yeah. you're here, or? Uh, Liz has pretty much covered yeah. the request. Yeah. When do you want to meet? At your earliest convenience. What, you know, what's good for all of us? Could this go to Well, he he works, so it has to be outside of working hours. Uh, he, he probably best if he gets out uh, early afternoon. But yes, uh, evening would be best. But he said he could make himself available. But a late afternoon meeting, you know, possibly? Because we have to get it posted, you know, within Well, four two days. <coughs> do you want to do it this week or next week? This week would be good. Uh, mm -hmm. This week, well, you can go forward. I leave Thursday morning, and I won't be back until Monday, uh, Monday late. What's late? Uh, probably 6 o'clock. You want to do a Monday night? Oh, well, that's it. That would work. Monday, yeah. yeah, Monday night. What time? Uh, if, if, six, if six works. Monday, 6 p.m.? Would you have uh, that posted for both committees, yours and ours? Yeah, we can probably ask Mike to do it. Can you do that for us, Linda? Yeah. Thank you. Got that one. So Monday, 6 p.m.? Right in this room. Actually, can we do it in the selectman's office? Okay. So you post it for the selectman's office, Linda? No. All right. Any other? Other? I said my piece on taxes and businesses. So what do we want for a subject just to discuss um, just the hiring of a new one? Yes. Yep.
No, I think the only thing is that I did attend that uh, chamber meeting this afternoon. So hopefully at least they know our name. Is it, it was it the Sturbridge division or was it the no, uh, where? No, uh, uh, Tim Murray was here with Alex. So they were both here. Okay. So it was a good discussion. It, Holland was there, Sturbridge, Southbridge. I think that was it. it it's tough that, you know, politicians can help, yeah. but we're not the end all be all. Yeah. It takes, you know, and Marty Walsh is doing it with, do that. Yeah, no, with that mm -hmm. tonight. Okay. Um, Marty Walsh is doing it in, in the Boston area mm -hmm. by buying local and whatnot to yeah. keep businesses open there. Yeah. And it, it, it has to start here. Yeah, it yep. has to. And I, I see it coming back slightly, you know, but it, it is what it is. Hard. We, 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 we can't right. control people in their own businesses. It's right. yeah. capitalism and. But really put things out years ago, I think my mother always said, was when they put Route 9 in, because Brookfield was quite the little bustling community years ago, and when Route 9 came in, it really took us off the map. But it, the world isn't like that anymore, for a long time. Yep. Oh, I, I understand that, but yep. I mean, it's, it's a shame, because Brookfield at one time had anything you needed. Not anymore. I learned last night that we had a, s a session of about 80 people that attended the uh, Quay Bar, uh, Historical Com Society meeting yeah. over at the church, mm -hmm. and they had the trolleys, and it was kind of like yes. a first of the kind as Bill far as Jenkins public. Bill Jenkins came down to talk to me about it because we have uh, the bridge that's on our property. Right, The right. bridge well, is on our property that go you, went over you, to the trolley station. Yeah, you were there as far as where you live today. Yeah. It's where the where Re the technology referee, referee was. boxing. And yeah. It's right over on our property. Yeah. And I don't think brought up the point too. Another part of my property used to be the New England Brickyard. Yes. Well, that was why they built it of brick. Yeah. And now all the bricks have disappeared, or yeah. disappeared moments after the yeah. building burned to people to take no, advantage we still, of. Them. We still had bricks down in the field up until now. They're all porous. Yeah. Any other business? Oh. Motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. I will entertain yeah. that. Uh, second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone.